right, so before we start, just wanted to say, I have two channels now. I get this one, and one exclusively for Cosmic Wonders content, so I stopped bugging you guys on this channel with that. So, if you like that stuff, you can go to that channel. I'll put it in the link below, and uh, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a pretty good reason why you should go subscribe if you're you know into that sort of thing. And you put up a picture of Brees. Thank you. All right. See you guys there, maybe. If not, totally fine. Whatever. Let's go. Doctor said I only have to do four hours of therapy a week instead of seven. I am the pina colada of mental health. I meant to say pinnacle, not pina colada. The telephone is a cruel mistress, and I am so healthy still. Oh, the horrors! Oh, the horrors! They haunt me. Uh oh, hold on. Sorry, I gotta take this. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry, my mom said we can't witness the horrors together anymore because you're bad influence and I have to go do my calculus homework. Bye! Putting up hell as fake billboards in Ohio to start a dialogue. Well, I'm putting up Ohio as hell billboards in Ohio to continue the dialogue. And I'm putting up therefore Ohio as fake billboards in Ohio to conclude the dialogue. Wow. Every time I see an animal, I have a strange urge to go outside and try to befriend it. So far, it only worked once. Be my friend, don't you run away, I just want to pet you. I walk into Starbucks and order a pumpkin spice latte with 13 shots of espresso. I tell the barista that I intend to transcend humanity and become a god. And I ask for no whipped cream. You say this jokingly, but I had a customer actually order a pumpkin spice latte with nine shots of espresso, also no whipped cream. And when I asked her to verify that she did indeed want nine shots of espresso, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, I have five kids. I once had a woman come in and ordered an Americano with 19 shots of espresso. The drink took ages. It held up the line. I asked her why, and she shrugged and said, I just don't care. We still talk about that woman. We never saw her again. Guys, she transcended time and space, obviously. Gentle reminder that Cleopatra's beauty is rumored to have started wars in ancient history. And a gentle reminder that people are evolving to be more and more attractive. And another gentle reminder that your beauty probably would have started at least two wars by now if you lived in 30 BC. What a gently delivered compliment. Thank you. Well, time to build a time machine. I love when mages in Skyrim are like, You cannot even conceive the power I wield! Like, yeah, bro, that novice Frostbot spell making me kind of fresh, gonna put my mittens on. I am a master of the arcane! Okay, then why does it say novice necromancer on your health bar then? Okay, but to be fair, if I learned at least one conjuration spell, I probably would also start talking like that. When your family asks if they can read what you're writing. Not unless everyone gets real cool about a bunch of stuff really quickly. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful infant son. Untitled document. I love you. Is there any humiliation greater than going out to the mailbox? And there's nothing inside. So you've got to make the hero's journey back with no spoils. The worst fact about me is that when I get stressed or overwhelmed, I start to wrap Eminem to myself under my breath. It's like a stim thing. I'll be at my job as a waitress on a super busy day, filling up glass of water, near tears from stress, my hands trembling, whispering to myself, I'm Slim Shady, as I am the real Shady. All you other Slim Shady are just about Jenny. So all the real Slim Shady, please stand up. Please stand up. Ah, Stim Shady. My good sir, I delightfully sip from the chalice you have so given me. What is Red Bull? Oh, that dragon's fucked. Is it just me, or do you want to see more of the little animation in your head whenever you listen to music? Yes! Popping my back isn't enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against the wall like a wet trout. Andy, throw me. What we see, and what humans see. OP, who's we? Who the fuck is we? OP! 3,500 years ago, a bunch of people decided to build a tower to the sky, and now I have to worry about keeping up my Duolingo streak. Hey, why would you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys. Anyway, I think it's a very important takeaway that the Tower of Babel story is that even God fears a strong union. You're right, and you should say it. Hey, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. Shh, puts a blanket over your head. <gasps> oh shit, nap time. Night, everybody. <laughs>